Good morning and welcome to today's video. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're near Edmund Byers in County Durham and uh, this is the BMX Everest. It's a real feel of two degrees. Make up your smile Hiding the war inside you We've done four reps now. Four, I'm so glad someone's counting. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I literally can't keep count. It's cold, but the sun's coming out now, so it'll be all right. It'll warm up quick, I think. Mm. Like it's, it's already noticeably warmer here. For me. If you want it. The gear is perfect. Is it? Yeah. It's like we planned it. <laughs> Could I have more um, carb? There's loads but, in there. That's it. Really? Yeah. It's, it's pl practically flavorless. Handlebars are in a bit of a strange place. <laughs> but you look like a gorilla you know, right. when you go a, up the hill. It's a mean machine. <laughs> See you later. Bye. So we've we've brought a lot of stuff with us. We were very prepared, but one thing I forgot to bring was a coat. So I've had to cobble together a slightly strange ensemble, which is my car poncho, which is the thing that <laughs> I use to protect our bikes from each other when they're in the car, and um, a dressing gown, which we were going to use to change into kit later. Hugh Hefner esque. Oh like yeah. Country Hugh Hefner. Francis from the future here. I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the bike specs because I didn't really have time on the day. I was busy with the Everest. So I got this BMX for 100 quid from Recycle Bike. They're a charity in Newcastle. I'm not sure how much this retails for. I blacked out all the logos, put my SPDs on it. Now in order to make the challenge doable, I've made some upgrades to the bike. Firstly and probably most noticeable, the giant long seat post. This is 45 centimeters long and uh, way past the minimum exertion. It didn't bend or snap, but uh, I wouldn't recommend riding it any longer than I did. Normally street BMXs have super fat tires on. We found the slickest ones possible. I guess these are usually used on hand bikes. They're completely slick and they're 1.35 inch. This bike came with a 35 tooth chainring on the front. I changed the back sprocket to an 18 tooth three wheel to give me slightly easier gear than a normal street BMX would have. The gear was good at the start, a bit of a struggle at the end. Most BMXs already have a rear brake. I fitted a front one as well, so it's road legal and stopping was easier. Nick from Backyard Bike Shop helped me set this bike up and we found that front brake wasn't really gripping enough so we upgraded the pads to 105 Shimano pads which are a little bit of a softer compound. So the stopping power was okay. SMP saddle on Nick from Emily's bike. It was really comfortable. Bit of a funky design but it has a massive pressure relief channel so perfect for a long ride like the Everest is. SPD pedals probably could have done with my road pedals because the shoes are lighter uh, but these were fine this is what I had here. Me and Jimmy electrical taped a mount to the front of my bike so I can fit my bike computer and underneath a super bright exposure light which I borrowed from him. Right interlude over back to the Everest. What is an Everest? So Everesting is when a cyclist attempts to ride the height of Mount Everest which is 8,848 meters in one single activity or ride on one climb so you are allowed a break for you know toilet stops or drinks or whatever but you're not allowed to sleep it has to be done on the same climb so it would be up and down and you have to complete the whole of the climb each time it's overseen by the Hells 500 which are the people that started Everesting and basically what you do is once you finished you stop your bike computer you upload the file and then you send it over to them to get sort of verified and you join the Everesting Hall of Fame afterwards. Francis chose this climb because it's a fairly sort of steady gradient it averages about seven percent so it's always it's always ultimately a balancing act between you don't want it too steep because it's just going to wreck your leg straight away but if it's too flat it means you're covering loads of distance um, this one is probably going to rack up something like 300 kilometers across the course of it which is obviously quite long but still you know he's, he's got a nice sort of straight gradient all the way up obviously he's only got one gear as well which is different to if you were doing it on a road bike um, I don't think he had any rationale be behind choosing that gear other than he'd already bought it for a different <laughs> bike so ha by the sounds of it, it happens to be working okay for him it's also quite a nice um, fairly straight descent which is going to come in handy, you know, 
ultimately it's probably going to be riding for something like 15 to 20 hours so once you start to get tired you really don't want to be having to deal with sort of windy roads especially on a BMX. It's warming up now. Yeah. We've done two which so is nice. Well. <laughs> the descent's a bit sketchy because the front wheel's so small. Touch. At least I've got wide bars. Let's see in a bit. So, a bit of a daisy cam here. Francis is currently on his 11th ascent and he's done 10 in total in about two hours. So, it's currently just gone half past nine. So, he's making good time. Hopefully we won't be leaving home, uh, leaving here too late. We're trying to give him like a carbohydrate drink. So he's like having half of those and then a few sweets, bit of a bite of a bagel every time. But he's trying to balance out having like a stomach problem. So yeah, he's doing really well. It's only about 2.5 kilometre climb. It's only taking him about 10 minutes to get up and then about four minutes to get back down. So actually it's really short. He just came back down again and just turned straight back around and went up again and then was singing all the way up. So I guess he's, I guess he's, um, I guess he's feeling okay. Hit 70k an hour on the descent. You're gonna be, you're gonna be sending quicker than me on that than I will on a road bike. Is that right? How are you feeling? Yeah, good. I managed to hit 70k an hour on the descent, <laughs> which I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to get to. It's, it's windy, so it's not going to be fast. Oh, is it start to get windy? Is it? Yeah, it's a headwind at the top. Oh, is it? So, it can't be. Is it? Yeah. Headwind at the top, and then coming down's quick, obviously, because you got tailwind and stuff. But I don't know. Salt on me. Stop wasting time, crack on. See you in a bit. Bye. You coming next rep? Yes. Cool. I need to get my stuff ready. It's very damp. Dizzy, you're his chief, his chief nutritionist on this challenge. Yes. What's, his, what's your nutrition <laughs> strategy? Bagel. Are you going to go join him now, Jimmy? Yes, sir. How are you feeling? Mmm. Alright. Jimmy keeping up with you? It was nice riding with Jimmy. It's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting on like... 170 BPM for most of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's first ref. Oh, I'm going to settle down. Yeah, you can see where your gilet has been. Marked out in salt. I'm struggling to eat them. I'll have one. Food is not. You are getting enough in, in your drinks. <laughs> yeah. If you, have, if you have two bottles an hour, then that should be it's more than 90 grams of carbs at least. Cool. I don't think flat bars are very good for your back. Before doing this challenge, I only rode this BMX for... Th 20 seconds, <laughs> maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have spent longer on it. Um, Why didn't you get a bike fit? What, on the BMX? The, the handlebars being flat is a bit, is bad for your wrists, isn't it? And I assume that it's just like, affects you further down the chain, so your back's a bit sore and stuff, but it's okay. It's nice having the leverage. And I can sort of, there's multiple hand positions, so it's all right. The brakes look fine. I don't want to know how far I've done. No, nope, under 20 relate, kilometers. Oh, it probably is. 450 meters done. Oh, it's okay. Can you hold the bike a sec? Of course. I'm just going to do this. How far has he gone? He has done 22 reps. Wow. It's a good climb. It's a little bit windy, but like. It's it's another it's another highlight of how strong he actually is, and Chris, you know, like people like Francis and Chris, like they they ride faster than me when they're doing like like Chris is riding around the country, he's faster than me. Francis is riding an Everest on a BMX, faster than me. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, at least you can even sort of keep up, you know. <laughs> on, Francis, whip it, head off. So, Francis.
Lance just hasn't got any bottle cages on his BMX because obviously it doesn't have holes for bottle cages. So basically what he's doing is drinking about half a bidden of water every up and down, so every rep, which is about 15 minutes. So he's do getting through two of these an hour. And what we're doing is water, table salt, this is very scientific, orange squash, just so it doesn't taste rank, a scoop of this Magic, magic powder. Magic powder. It's cocaine. No, it's not. Magic powder, which is maltodextrin, which is basically just pure sugar. I am reliably informed that a scoop is 30 grams. In an hour, he's getting through 60 grams of carbs just in his drink. And then he tends to take on like a little bit of his bagel as well. So he's getting 60 to 80 grams of carbs an hour. That shaking does not look good. No. Oh. <laughs> Do it off camera. It doesn't help. No. What's that? Smarties. They're not smarties. They're not smarties. They're painkillers. Both my wrists are bad, but that one, the broken wrist is even worse, which is to be expected, I guess. The challenge isn't really like the physical effort. It's all the pain and stuff that you get. Mm. That seems to be the problem. Like my back is so sore. Are you on about everything in general or specifically this Everest? Specifically this Everest. So perhaps if you were sensible, you would have done maybe like some six, miles six weeks of riding the bike to actually get used to riding. Wow, what I we should have done is put it. road handlebars on it. It wouldn't be a BMX. <laughs> and road wheels. And road wheels, yeah. <laughs> road frame. And a road frame. <laughs> You're a salty <laughs> man. Can you even like... That's the salt. I'm keeping it there so I can... Lick it off. Yeah. Electrolytes. <laughs> you back on, Jimmy? Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah. In. Emily's now kitted up and riding with him. Um, he's in a lot of pain now, as you would have probably seen from the clip that just played. Um, so yeah, I think he's finding it quite hard now. Um, but he's over halfway there, so he doesn't want me to tell him how many reps he's done. He told me to tell him when he's at 10 reps-ish, so that he has a ballpark. So. Yeah, <laughs> pick up the front just doesn't go up. Literally. It's about eight kilos. What? For, for my bar spin celebration. Do you want face wipes? No. I've got, I've got some face wipes. Face wipes? Let's see if you can get some of this fucking salt, salt off here. I like the salt on my face. Just fucking hold it, you drama queen. What are you doing? You're putting lights on? <coughs> yeah, we're using the, um, the special mount. <laughs> oh, you should be. Oh, you are filming it. Time to get back on the bike. You can do it! He's got 11 left. Half past seven, so he's been riding for exactly 12 hours. So he's got roughly like two hours left. And he's asked us to tell him when he's got five more laps left. But I'm not going to tell him until he's only got one left. <gasps> and see how happy he is. <laughs> Unless he gets really sad that he's not near the end. <laughs> That's a, he hasn't he hasn't sort of questioned it once has he because no. i remember when the first the first like sit down he had yeah. was exactly halfway Fucking and he hell. sort of didn't realize that and he didn't yeah. question it and by the time he finally asked you yeah am i at least halfway done he was way more than halfway done so i think actually not telling him is probably yeah. a good thing yeah he was saying oh a half everest is so hard and that was like 12 laps after a half everest yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. he just has no idea <laughs> Go, Francis, go! Go, Francis, go! You can do it! Go, Francis, go! You can do it! 
I'm out of breath. This is the penultimate. Well, it's the last full rep. And then he's got a little half rep to do. And then it? a half rep, and then we're done. What time is it? It is half past ten in the evening. Half past ten. That is a hell of a lot quicker than we were expecting it to be. Yeah, it is. Because there was a point we thought it was going to be like three or four in the morning. Yeah. And it's going to be what, 11 o'clock or something? Really. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty impressive. Not bad effort, Francis. He's picking back up now as well because he knows the end is in. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's probably more alert than we are. Probably. I shouldn't say that whilst driving. Like that. <laughs> Last one, sir. You could do it. Last one. It's not even a full rep. I'm kind of guessing what halfway is. Yeah. In terms of elevation, but yeah, feeling all right. I'm not going to eat. I'm not. I'm not having any more maltodextrin. <laughs> Ever I'm gonna risk. Life. I'm gonna risk bonking. I'm gonna <laughs> risk bonking now. <laughs> Can't even speak properly. You did it. You reckon this is it? I reckon this is it. This is basically the top, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just over that lump, so it must be. It yeah. Must be over fifty percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you only actually needed to get over 0.2. Really? Yeah. Okay. It was 55.2 laps you needed to do. Right. So I think you've done it. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks guys, thanks for supporting. <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know how AJ does that with no support. <laughs> I feel better. It, stopping when you've just ridden is so much easier than stopping at the bottom of the descent. Yeah. When you're freezing cold. And it's warm. So everything on a BMX? I, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> 15 hours 50 ride time, 257.9 kilometers, 16 kilometer average, which is actually fucking impressive, but yeah. and then 9,043 meters of climb.